In this tutorial, I just want to say a few words on the versions of Spring that might be of interest. The original version of Spring came out back in 2004, although that doesn't seem very long ago. Even in 2004, Spring contained most of the core features. Even then, most of what we cover in this course was present in some shape or form. Now this is great, because as a Spring developer, you can learn the fundamentals, and you don't have to worry about new versions coming out and having to learn everything again from scratch. All that's happened is that, since then, there have been relatively few changes to the fundamentals, but there have been a lot of additions. In 2006, Spring 2 was released, and this gave us much better AOP, or Aspect Orientated Programming. 2007 followed with the release of Spring 2.5. This gave us Annotation Wiring, which was a big change and there is quite a lot of controversy about this change, as it may impact how you write your code. Again, we'll cover this in part 2 of the course. Spring 3 was released back in 2009. Not much had changed in version 3 that affected the core framework. However, lots of new features were added. But really, the only thing that affected the core framework was that the JPA template would be deprecated. Now at the time of recording, Spring 4 has been released. And again, it's very hard to find any changes to the actual core framework in Spring 4. It was really a tidy up and the removal of a lot of legacy support for Java. If you're interested in seeing what's new in Spring 4, head over to the latest release of the reference manual. So if we go over to spring.io, and then we just click on the reference, and we scroll down to chapter 2. There are what's new in Spring 4.x. You see new features and enhancements to Spring Framework. You see an improved getting started, support for Java 8, Java E 6 and 7. There's not really anything here that um, actually impacts the, the core of the framework. The only thing is removal of deprecated packages and methods. So in the next tutorial, I'm going to start looking at some of the design principles of how we should look to develop and design our application code. We won't be using Spring to begin with. It's just general good design practice. And then that will lead us into actual using the Spring framework. <laughs>